Welcome to the On Home and Office podcast series, featuring technology tips from expert authors in home and office computing. Part of the On Podcast Network at InformIT.com. For great deals on Mr. Excel's books and videos, visit InformIT.com forward slash Mr. Excel. Hey, welcome back to the On Home and Office podcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Uh, we're going to talk about an amazing feature today, an amazing feature that allows us to basically back into an answer. Now, along the way, uh, we're going we're gonna to give credit to Bob Barker. We're going to give credit to your high school algebra teacher, but we're not going to use any of those methods. Now, I have a simple worksheet here that calculates the car payment. So I have a $25,000 car, 60 months, five and a quarter percent interest rate, and my payment is 474. Here's the problem. I don't want to pay 474. That's too much. I only want to pay 425. Maybe I can argue him down to 24,000. Well, that's still too high. So let me plug in a really low number. 20,000. 379. That's too low. Let me go higher. Um, 22,000. Still too low. 22,500. All right. This whole process of going higher and lower and higher and lower reminds me of the price is right. Bob Barker used to have that game where you would shout out higher or lower. It's almost like we need Bob here saying higher, lower, higher, lower. And after enough guesses, I would eventually get to this. Now, I was doing this seminar once at a high school. It was the convocation for the teachers, and I was showing the teachers how to use Excel. And the algebra teacher raises her hand, and she says, Bill, you can use algebra to do that. And I, I laughed and I said, no, you can use algebra. I'm sorry, I don't remember anything from algebra. And she wasn't happy with me the rest of the day. Okay, so rather than just sitting here and playing the higher, lower game, and rather than trying to figure out how to use algebra, there's an amazing feature in Excel that will get us to this answer in an instant. We're gonna come back to the data tab. And under the what if analysis icon, there's something called goal seek. This is an amazing feature. I've chosen cell B5, that's my payment. I want to set cell B5 to $425 by changing cell B1. When I click OK, basically Excel is going to play the higher or lower game very, very quickly and in less than a second, it's going to find the exact answer, 22384.93. Now I would have gotten there eventually plugging in higher and lower numbers probably after 20 guesses, but this gets me to it instantly. And the beautiful thing is it did not change my formula at all. I can still keep doing what if analysis. I can change to a different number of months or a different interest rate and everything is still live. It's just a great way to very quickly back into an answer using goal seek. Next time you have to figure out the right input value to end up with a certain result, try data, what if analysis, goal seek, and you'll have your answer before you know it. Thanks for watching the On Home and Office podcast. For more episodes, check us out in iTunes or at informit.com forward slash On Home and Office. Stay tuned for a word from Q Publishing. Q Publishing creates user-friendly technology guides on home and office technologies. Whether you're looking for beginner or advanced information on hardware, software, and gadgets, Q has the solutions you need to learn more fast. We publish a wide array of series to meet your learning needs, including the Business Solutions series, which focuses on everyday business programs such as Excel and Access. The Easy series is geared toward the visual learner looking for step-by-step -step instructions. The Live Lesson series are video training DVDs which feature hours of personal instruction with an expert trainer. The On Demand series cuts straight through the clutter, providing concise and graphically rich guides. The Special Edition Using series features instruction from industry-recognized experts on topics such as Office, Photoshop, Windows, and Mac OS. Check out all our series today at informit.com forward slash Q.